All right, folks, Hunter Bob here. <laughs> So Ben, what have we witnessed today? Taco Bell. Alright guys, so I was running my gasifier on corn today. It exploded and I got the whole thing on camera. Um, I'm not going to show you the first part of the video because I am going to do a good test run on uh, just shelled corn after I fix all the problems uh, that were caused by the explosion today and probably that caused the explosion today. Um, so after I fix all those, I'm still going to do a good video on uh, running gasifier on corn because it did seem like it produced some pretty explosive syn gas. Um, so I guess uh, stay tuned for that video in the future, but this one is probably going to be, or is this going to be uh, the first video ever probably on YouTube of uh, gasifier actually exploding the camera. So I turned out fine, uh, just, just got covered in the ashes. I was wearing safety glasses and everything, as you should always do when working with a gas fire that you are just now testing because you don't know what could be not sealed up or whatever. Um, well, I mean, if you're like me and you don't uh, do a lot of safety precautions, just, just when building, just wear safety glasses when you're doing it. But anyway, I'm going to cut to the clip right now, uh, so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching. All right, so now I got a nice hot ember bed. I'm just gonna drop this whole thing of corn down in there. This is the burnt corn first. All right, just covered it up. Gonna see if my blower starts producing any smoke down there. Yeah, I see a little bit, but not not too noticeable. All right, I'm gonna drop this second one down there. Sorry if the camera's bad, uh, bad angle and stuff. I'm trying to get this with camera in my hand. It's a two-hand job. All right, so let's look down in there one last time. Looks like the corn might actually be igniting a little bit. All right, I'm gonna drop this second load down in there. All right, there we go. And screw it, I'll put the paper towel down in there too. All right, smells good. Uh, Guess I'll cut to ya. I'm gonna shake the shaker great real quick. Well, I just got uh, an explosion happening on me, and I'm going to turn the blower off right now. Good thing I was wearing safety glasses. Dang. Well, uh, what you just saw there, and what I'm really interested to see what that looked like, was an explosion. Um, don't know what, why that happened. I'm going to put my safety glasses back down. But as you can see, there's a bunch of burned crap all over the place right here. And, uh, that's confusing me a lot. Because everything is sealed up pretty nicely. Um, covered in soot right now. I don't know whether that was from air getting in the bottom of my gasifier or whether that was from just too much air getting in the top. Alright guys, so it's been about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 12 minutes since the explosion. I've opened the door up, um, I've inspected my shaker grate and everything like that, looked down inside the hopper of the flashlight. Everything seems fine. I think my door just got warped from the explosion because my gasket down here... My gasket is like 100% perfect all the way around. It's made from RTV silicone. 
and it's not peeled back or anything like that. I think my door is just warped. And uh, I can tell on my door from the way that the, I guess the soot is on there, that it was completely sealed up. There's no spot on the door where um, there's soot stuck to it, like where the, where like uh, air could got sucked through. So uh, I know that door down there was sealed up. So that makes me think that there was kind of a, a collapse in the hopper. Uh, and the barrel would be full of syngas. There was a collapse in the hopper from me shaking the shaker grate, allowing a big rush of air down into there, um, down into the uh, down into the uh, barrel, which then caused the explosion because there was air in there. I don't think it was from a leak in the barrel because it didn't happen to me la like last night when I was doing the test run. Um, and I've sealed up I've sealed up everything even more than it was sealed up last night. And uh, also that kind of that pop kind of happened to me earlier in the video that I did not recognize as an explosion. And it was caught on video too when I was loading the corn into the hopper. Um, it kind of puffed up and I kind of just like, brushed it off. I was like, oh, just the fuel fell down in the hopper, which was true. Um, but it also allowed air down in there. So I guess I was kind of uh, going uh, with the top open like that. So a lot of air could rush in quickly. I was shaking the shaker grate too much um allow and then that allowed, made a collapse which allowed air to get in and an explosion to happen i'm pretty sure so now i gotta reshape my door because i realized my latches weren't latched very tightly so i gotta reshape the door a little bit and then probably get back to you tomorrow um or maybe later tonight if i can get that done quickly so with all that said uh stick around it's kind of interesting i bet that was the first explosion on youtube of a gas fire um it wasn't that dangerous, wasn't that scary. Just got uh not even didn't even get burned, but uh whatever. So anyway, uh thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh please tell me if you see something that I'm doing unsafe or you have any ideas how to make this safer. Um with that said, uh have a good Memorial Day weekend and if you're building the gas gasifier, uh wear safety glasses for sure.